Hi everyone, my name is Gerald L. Coleman and I am an independent uh, author and I am sitting right here in my office in the creative space <laughs> and I'm about to answer five questions for Nara Zoo. Uh, first up, how did you get started as an artist? Okay, well, uh, for me, it, uh, my gateway drug was comic books. Uh, I began reading at, at a very young age and I moved on from, from comic books to um, science fiction and fantasy. Uh, everything from The Lord of the Rings to uh, Elric of Melner Bonet by Michael Moorcock and on and on and on. Uh, Dune, uh, the Fated Sun uh, series. Uh, and I read that for most of my life, uh, even at the university when I was reading uh, Immanuel Kant in the classroom or Nietzsche. Um, I was uh, <laughs> reading uh, science fiction and fantasy uh, on the side a lot of times when I should have been doing um, uh, homework. Uh, and so uh, it got to a point where as I read the stories, I began to think about how the stories might be different. Uh, most importantly, how they might include uh, people of color, uh, which they they had not, uh, did not for um, uh, much of the uh, of the era in which I was doing most of my reading. And so, as it as uh, as I became uh, more and more interested in writing myself, uh, I decided that I was going to write in that genre, and I was going to write uh, in a way that included uh, all of us. Um, tell us about your work. Ah, um, uh, the first uh, book in my series is uh, When Night Falls, uh, classic uh, high fantasy, uh, obviously with um, a lot of diverse characters, uh, particularly uh, people of color, particularly African Americans, uh, black folk. Um, and so this is book one in the series. Book two uh, should be out uh, in the next few weeks, uh, actually. Um, what are some of your biggest influences? Oh, wow. Well, well, for me, um, I'm writing in the vein of obviously Tolkien, uh, Robert Jordan from the Wheel of Time series, uh, really influenced by Michael Moorcock and the Elric of Melanie Bonet stuff. Um, Glenn Cook, uh, The Black Company, um, the Faded Sun series, as I said uh, earlier, very influential uh, for me. Star Wars or Star Trek? Ah, can I say both? <laughs> for different reasons. Star Wars to me is um, a bit more gritty, um, a bit more like a, a classic Western. And uh, Star Trek to me is really uh, classic science fiction uh, in that it's uh, hopeful science fiction in that it, it views us uh, as having evolved beyond many of the uh, issues that we're facing right now. And so that's one of the reasons that Star Trek is a, is a favorite of mine as well. Uh, so I'm not an either or. I'm a big fan of both. I'm, uh, I'm a second generation uh, Star Trek fan. I still see the new movies that with my mother, I'll take her to see them. And um, Star Wars, I was standing in line as a nine-year-old to see uh, the very first Star Wars at South Park Cinema uh, in Lexington, Kentucky. So I'm a big fan uh, of both, uh, both of those uh, franchises. Uh, and lastly, what are you currently working on? Well, uh, I'm finishing, just finished um, book two in the series, and uh, I will take a little break, a couple of months at the most, and uh, begin working on book, uh, book three uh, in the series. And so that's what I'm working on. Okay, wrap it up. Okay, so you can find me at GeraldLColeman.co, and that's my website. Uh, and from there, you can find me uh, in all the other places, all the avenues uh, that you'll be directed to. Uh, thanks to uh, Nara Zhu for giving us this opportunity to hear from artists. And uh, see you.